Alanesis. Dinosaurs are a group of reptiles that formed in the Triassic period. They have many features that are very similar, similar modifications to their bones and skulls and spine. Many species were very large. The dinosaurs were believed to have gone extinct 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period because of a giant asteroid impact. The asteroid was believed to be the size of a mountain and travelling at many times the speed of sound. There is a growing community of scientists and enthusiasts around the world that believe that dinosaurs did not actually go extinct, or at least some of them survived. They believe that the dinosaurs would be hiding in wildernesses around the world, in forests or in remote locations where people aren't present. This sounds absurd until you consider that other animals that were considered extinct have been found to be still alive in the world today. This is a coelacanth. This fish was believed to be extinct until recently when it was discovered living off the shores of South Africa. Many villagers living in the Congo described seeing a gigantic beast crawling out of a river. The villages are far apart and not connected together in some cases. The descriptions of the beast are always the same. They always say that the beast has a very long neck, looks like a reptile, has a head like a snake, has three-toed feet, and is bigger than an elephant, and would eat leaves. The villagers describe the beast as very territorial and would attack people if come too close. The beast is said to only eat leaves and submerge in the water much of the time. They would call the beast Mekeli and Membe, which means to stop the flow of water. Many different villagers were asked to draw a picture of the creature that they saw. When they drew the picture, it resembled a small sauropod dinosaur. The thing that astonished the investigations crews was the resemblance of each image that was drawn and the consistency. Every single village drew more or less the same picture, a small sauropod dinosaur. However, even if a creature was found and did resemble a small sauropod dinosaur, it is possible that that creature is not related to sauropod dinosaurs at all. It could just be a new discovered species of reptile that just happens to look like a sauropod. This is called convergence, where animals that are not connected or related have some kind of resemblance. I'll show you another example of such a thing. This is a drawing of a Tasmanian tiger that lived in Australia and recently went extinct. It resembles a dog, but it's not a dog. It's not related to a dog in any way. In fact, it had a pouch and was a marsupial and was very closely related to the kangaroo. Yet, it looked like a dog and people would mistake it for a dog and they would often call it a dog when they were shooting it. This is a dolphin. Dolphins are actually mammals. They breathe air and they're warm blooded and they have three ear bones and they have all the features that mammals have. Yet, this mammal resembles a fish. It has smooth skin, a torpedo body shape and fins at the back. This creature looks like a dinosaur. It is a giant monitor lizard that can grow bigger than a person usually around 3 meters long and it is a type of monitor lizard called the Komodo dragon. If you came across this giant lizard eating a deer and you're the first person to see it, would you think this was a lizard? Or would you think you just discovered a living dinosaur? This, this validates my point that I said earlier, that it's possible that people are seeing some kind of lizard or some kind of reptile that has formed into a giant creature and is not connected to the dinosaurs, but resembles them in some way. I believe that dinosaurs do exist, though. And the reason I believe they exist is because the scientific community has accepted that birds are a type of dinosaur. All species of birds have been reclassified as avian dinosaurs, living avian dinosaurs. 
They have scaly, clawed feet that resemble that of a dinosaur. 93% of birds' DNA is the same as crocodile DNA. Crocodiles are believed to be cousins of dinosaurs. Many bones inside birds resemble dinosaur bones on a smaller scale. Next time you see a bird fly past, or you see a bird walking on the floor, or you see them nesting, remember that you're looking at a dinosaur, a living, breathing descendant of the dinosaurs. And I'll leave you with this. Possibly there are other dinosaurs living in the world, but if not, there are real ones anyway. Perhaps with drones and new satellite imagery, a relic, old school living dinosaur could be found roaming in the wilderness where people don't go. Who knows? Well, until next time, I say goodbye.